Hey everyone, Tim Strafler here with Divi Life, and we are back with another November live stream. And I am super excited. Today we are showcasing our Divi header layout templates. We designed these last year and released them as an exclusive bonus to our All Access Pass members. And so now we are relaunching them for November. But here's the best part they're 85% off. So you can get them today for only $5. Super exciting. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. In case you are new to Divi Life in November, November is the month long series that we're doing here at Divi Life where we are doing Divi tutorials, we're doing Divi freebies, we're doing exclusive Divi deals like the one today, uh, as well as we're going to be launching some epic new Divi products too. So stay tuned for that. So today we're again, we're giving 85% off our Divi header layouts pack for a very, very limited time. So let's go ahead and, and, and show you what they look like here. So uh, you can see these are the different examples. So there's six different, completely different uh, like layout structures. And then within the different layout structures, there's three variations each. And so total the pack is 18 different headers. Uh, however, there's six core headers and then three variations each. So I want to make that clear so you're not looking at it and, and thinking, hey, some of these look very similar. They do look similar because they're variations of the same design. And so uh, let's go ahead and, and show you what they look like here. So uh, this is using our Divi Coffee Child theme. And so you can see it's customized to, to match. So obviously these are Divi header templates with the Divi theme builder. So they're very easy to customize using Divi. And so I'm going to show you the gallery here to kind of show off uh, some of the uh, things we did. This is using the, the Divi travel blogger child theme from Divi Life. This is using our Divi SEO child theme here at Divi Life. This is our Divi restaurant child theme here at Divi Life. I see a trend coming. Uh, this is our Divi podcast child theme uh, using one of the layouts there. Um, this is our Divi interior designer layout with one of the headers here. So you can see how it matches. Um, this one is a, a Divi layout, the fashion layout here. So this is, um, I can't remember what layout that is. Uh, and then again, uh, we're back to the beginning. So, um, or no, we're not. So here's, yeah, here's Life Coach. Uh, here's the a Divi layout for cake maker, cake decorator, um, using one of the layouts. And so we've customized it to kind of match the personality and feel. And this is the Divi architect layout. This is layout one, header layout one. And this is a Divi app child theme from Divi Life using one of our layouts. I think this is header one as well. And then finally, Divi accounting child theme. So uh, yeah, so you can see kind of what it looks like when you customize it to match a website. Now, one thing I, I do want to talk about that is super, super important is, uh, as I mentioned, we designed these headers, uh, professionally designed them, and then our, our team professionally built them. However, we wanted them to be easy to customize because chances are you're going to need to customize the content and the styling and all that. And as I mentioned, it's all built with Divi elements uh, with a little bit of custom code. Uh, so they are easy to customize. However, sometimes when you have a layout, it can be hard to figure out when there's a lot going on. There's a lot of elements kind of pushed into a, a small area like a header. And so what we did is we created really in-depth documentation where you can uh, see exactly how to customize. We put them in two forms, in text form as well as video form. So if you prefer just kind of scanning a, a text document, uh, documentation article, then you can do that. Or if you like kind of the step-by-step -step walkthrough, you can do that with the video too. And one thing that I'm really proud of that I think is a huge added bonus to these header layouts is in the documentation, we have a uh, what we're calling a visual table of contents, where it basically shows you, points to the different elements of the header. I want to make sure you can see that there. And then we're going to tell you exactly what step in the documentation will teach you how to customize that specific part. So, uh, for example, if you're like, okay, how do I change the phone number? I need to change the phone number. Okay, well, you can go down to the how to customize the blurbs, which is in step four, and it's going to show you exactly how to customize this specific part of the header. So very cool. Uh, we wanted it to be super easy to use and, and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the demo here. Where'd the demo go? So I showed you kind of the examples here. And now I'm going to show you the live demos. So let's do 
I'm just going to open up all of them right now just for the fun of it. We kind of go through these quickly here. So as I mentioned, there's six core header layouts, and then which within each header, there are three variations each, so 18 total. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom out here so you can see that. Okay, so this is header one. Now, I wanted to draw attention to mobile. So we have them uh, sticky and they shrink as well as you scroll. Um, I wanted to draw attention to mobile because this is something that's really important, obviously. And it doesn't just scale down. We actually made some additional enhancements to make everything work really well on mobile. So you can see we added the button that's below the header. They're called action button on mobile. And then the, uh, the rest of the menu goes below that afterwards. So uh, it makes it really clear kind of what your call to action is there. So, uh, so that's really cool. Okay, so let's... Uh, kind of go through these additional variations here. All right, so here's the next style. Let's go ahead and show you the mobile version here. I love the mobile version on here. Again, we have that call to action below the menu, so it's really clear. And then the, the rest of the mobile menu there. I'm gonna make sure you can, yeah, you can see that all the way, okay. So that's uh, header two. The next variation, I really like this one, the way that this one turned out, and I just love the mobile for this one, so we're gonna look at that. And so kind of a more bright, colorful color scheme there. And then this is header three. Uh, this one, again, focus on that call to action there. Let's go ahead and scroll that down. Love the way this one turned out on mobile. As you can tell, I like how all of them turned out on mobile. Uh, and I can't take credit for this. Uh, I have an amazing team of designers and front-end developers that built these, so I can't take credit. So when I'm saying, look how amazing this is, I'm not patting myself on the back because I did not design this. Um, I love the way that looks there. Let's look at the other variations. Nice, bold, orange one. Dark. Whoops. forgot this one the link got messed up so this one's really cool especially for local businesses because you have the phone number and the hours right at the top uh, and so as well as the call to action so all the important information is right where you need it and so uh, and then again on mobile too we keep that phone number and hours because think about it for like a, a local business a restaurant having a uh, a phone number and hours is probably the most important thing in your business. When someone's on their phone and they're trying to get to figure out where you are, they wanna call and put it in order, having that phone number easily accessible is extremely important. And so that's uh, really easy to do with this header layout here. So these are the additional style variations. It's got a dark one there as well. This one's really cool for kind of a active, kind of more sports type of brand. Let's go ahead and scale that down for mobile. Again, love the way it looks on mobile. Very, very cool. Of course, it's sticky. What I like about this one too is, is the social media stuff, the phone number uh, scrolls while the rest of it sticks. So very cool. So again, let's look at mobile here. That looks awesome. Now these demos just have a background image. And so that's why in the blog post here, we showed some examples on real websites. So you can kind of see how it looks with the rest of a site. Uh, and by the way, this is very, this is on my huge uh, 27 inch monitor. So that's why it's super wide. Um, and so I wanted to make that clear uh, that you, you, you know, so you can see the way it looks on real websites. Um, all right, and then this is the last one here. This is header six. So again, similar, got the location, you got the hours, you got the uh, call today. So again, for local businesses uh, that need to know, okay, where are you located? Uh, when are you open? And how do I put it in order? Have that information right there. So yeah, this one scales down. Again, keep the location, the hours, and then the phone number pops up top. So I don't know if you saw that phone number previously up here, and then on mobile, it pops to the top there. So. Very, very cool, very well designed and built. And that's the last one here. So 
Um, so yeah, hopefully you are as excited for these header layouts as I am. They've gotten a great response when we release them to our, our, our members exclusively and uh, super excited to kind of get them out there to the rest of the, the Divi community. And so that's why we have the price uh, for only $5. So um, if you click here, it's gonna show you, or if you click any of the call to action buttons here, it's gonna pop open the, the product page. So, um, or actually it's, if you click the button, it's gonna go directly to checkout and you can see $5 here. So we're gonna sell these uh, for $50 uh, after November and everything is over. We might extend it to the end of the year, but then the price is going up. So definitely grab it now for $5, which is over 85% off. And then also we're kind of treating this almost like a, a plugin and that we're gonna be adding to it. We're gonna be uh, having our designers create more headers more variations and we're going to continue adding this adding new features to it as well so when you buy for five dollars and then we uh add new layouts to it and we uh, put the price back up 85 percent to, to 50 bucks uh you'll continue to get all the new stuff too for that that same five dollars so i want to make that clear that that this is not a a static layout pack it's dynamic in that we're going to be updating it and it's uh, you know, we're treating it like a, a product and not a, a layout pack that we built once and then forget about it. So, um, so yeah, so that's the end of this live stream. Uh, again, we, we hope you're excited to, to use these layouts, uh, download them and let us know how it goes. Uh, and of course you have that in-depth documentation to show you how to customize it. And then our Divi life team is available for help too. And so, and that, that's actually one of the reasons why we didn't just make it free is uh, in order to get access to our, our customer support team, you have to be a paid customer. And so by making it five bucks, you're a paid customer. And then if you need help, you can access our support team. And so that's kind of how that works there. So thanks everyone for tuning in and uh, until tomorrow, take care. Bye-bye.